Okay, so these are the three things that I would say to my younger self as uh, an artist, okay? So the, the top three things that I would basically give advice to her, okay? But first of all, before I get started, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tim Chan. I create videos to help artists or just students in general to try to help better themselves. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then you can subscribe. Anyways, so these are the top three things that I would um, basically tell myself to focus on if I was younger. Okay, now I'm starting to get more and more into art, but these are the top three things I would say for you to do. Okay, so first of all, number one is literally just, now you're not gonna like this, it's not very fancy. It's to just keep hammering away. That's number one, okay? Hammer and hammer away. You do, will not, it will take some time for you to create something amazing, okay? I had, when I was at school and I was creating music and songs and the whole class was doing the same thing, okay? My friend was able to just create a song with that easy like that okay and it was so good as well even the teacher was so impressed and literally said to the class that <laughs> that song that he made was the most beautiful song i've ever heard from a student and i was sitting there with 10 songs already created but i hated every single one of them okay and i'm pretty sure yeah i had to send it off to the teacher as well i got an a but i do not like it even like myself okay but the solution was even though I wasn't the best, I kept on hammering away and I got better and better and I started actually enjoying my own music because I refined it. I understood what and where I was really coming from as well, which kind of leads on, me on to kind of number two. Okay, that's no, not kind. Okay, kind of. Yeah, so number two. Okay, very simple. It's to take in good content or other words, take in good inspiration. What kind of art do you think you're going to make if you're just spending most of your day just kind of indoors, not doing much? Now, it's kind of a different story if you're reading, okay? If you're reading, um, like let's say reading non, or sorry, fiction, or even non-fiction, you can read a lot of good non-fiction books on like, let's say history, you're reading battles, adventures, or even fiction, like adventures, okay? Taking good inspiration, what that's going to do is actually going to give you cool ideas that you can actually revolve your songs around. You kind of take parts of a story as well, like things that you really like and you just take it for your own, okay? Like even one of the songs that um, I created with some of my friends, so it wasn't just completely original, okay? So um, I had created it with two friends, okay? It was one of the most popular songs, I think it was Lily. I think it's, you can probably see it on my channel, right? But one part of the song okay as the very end it's about um it's about the the person the love being a flower it was like you were like a flower so small and frail okay and the reason why i, I was the one that actually came up with that okay and the reason why or how i came up with that is actually from a poem that i had read when i was at school it was really nice okay it was to do with um seeing this person that you loved kind of die away in their hospital bed. But they described their hand like a flower, but it was starting to wither away. So I decided, okay, maybe we can describe her literally as a flower because they're called Lily, okay? I thought that was cool, but that's the extent of it. That's how powerful it can be to take in good inspiration because you can kind of take it, okay? Ideas aren't exactly copyrighted, okay? So unless you're taking it word for word, then it's different, okay? But taking good inspiration so what i'm gonna do here is i mean some of the best ideas that you can get is actually from books because you actually have to pay a lot of attention to it but not just that you can watch movies as well i'm just gonna create um, a camera here no that's not too bad actually there we are yeah okay books films um or even go if you can go on adventures like real life adventures which takes me on to the third point. This advice was given to me from my English teacher, okay? And you may, if you've watched my videos before, you may know what this is, but the third one is basically to live, okay? Because an artist, all an artist really is doing is just expressing themselves, okay? But what, you can't really express anything if you haven't really lived too much. People can tell if you're kind of faking an experience. You can't exactly tell about, oh, um, I, <laughs> you can't 
talk about, oh, this character is going through a bunch of trauma when you haven't when you haven't experienced any of that and most of your life you've been sitting in your bedroom you're not gonna be you're not gonna get to that extent okay if you live that will create for much more much deeper connections with your actual listener or reader okay i'm gonna rub that out okay so hold on what i'm gonna do i'll need the picture for live um i'm gonna do a heart oh it's a horrible heart okay so to recap you need to hammer away at your task whatever it is okay let's say you want to be an artist you want to create you want to be a musician and you want to create songs but your songs right now are garbage okay now people you may be telling yourself okay i don't i i don't think it's garbage i think it could need some work listen if you don't really like it if you're and it's like maybe your first or second song you can just keep going keep hammering away either at that song or keep making new ones Okay, because the more and more you do it, then you're going to notice good things, like cool things that you really like doing, okay? Or like the notes you can really hit, okay? Or the words that you really like to say as you sing it, okay? Or even the chords that you really resonate with, okay? That's actually a thing. Like, I think one of my favorite chords is like E minor. I don't know why, I just really like it. But hammer away, okay? That's probably the best tip I can give you. Hammer away at your task whatever it is as an artist okay number two you need to take in good inspiration okay and then you can take ideas from maybe even really great artists maybe people that you really look, look up to see how they are so great why are they so great okay or even when you're listening or i don't know reading a piece of the work try to understand oh why am i so interested in that study it use it for yourself okay Number three is to live, okay? Because an artist can already express themselves if they're not really living a life, okay? You will be bored. An artist should be excited about life. Then whatever they create, they'll be able to pass that on to their readers, to their listeners, okay? No one really wants to... <sighs> Why would you want to listen to... I mean, maybe you do, maybe you do, because there are some perfectionists that will actually just sit for hours and hours. And that's that's the thing that can happen, okay? But I would just say, if you really want to be, I guess, emotionally happy for most people, you want to live, okay? There are some people that can just sit for hours and hours just practicing on their craft that, I think, who was it, Michelangelo? No, is it Michelangelo? I think it is. Yeah, there's a certain artist, there's a really, really famous artist that just works on his craft, hours and hours and hours, very much like this person, hammering away, okay? Hopefully you understand. I apologize if I'm speaking a bit fast. Um, it's just really warm today. So, I hope this helps, okay? If it has helped, then you can subscribe if you like, leave a dislike if you want, and if you have any other video ideas that you want me to cover, please let me know, okay? Pause the subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.